Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this video, I will tell you how to fix delayed notifications on iPhone. If you are expressing delayed notifications on your iPhone, there are several troubleshooting steps you can take to address the issue. Our step number one is check internet connection. Ensure that your iPhone has a stable internet connection, either through Wi-Fi or cellular data. Delayed notifications can occur if your device has a poor or intermittent connection. After this, then you have to do is update your iOS version. Make sure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Update after include bug fixes and improvements that can address notification issues. So you have to open your settings, tap on your general, tap on software update and check if there is any available update for your iPhone. If there is, then simply update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS 17. Like I am having an update of 17.2.1. All I have to do is simply tap on update now or I can update it tonight. So guys, after trying these two steps and you are still facing the issue, then you have to do is check app notification settings. Review, notifica uh, review the notification settings for the specific apps that are expressing delays. You have to go to your settings, go back and tap on notifications and select the app which uh, like I am selecting FaceTime and ensure that notifications are enabled. Additionally, check if there's a, there are specific settings within the app that controls the timings of notification. What this then you have to do is enable the background app refresh. Ensure that background app refresh is enabled for the apps in question. So you have to go back and then tap on general, tap on background app refresh, again tap on it. Sorry, I have enabled the low power mode. First of all, disable it. Then go to background app refresh and you have to make sure that it's enabled. So guys, after trying these steps and you're still facing the issue, then you have to do is simply reset all settings on your iPhone. You have to go back and then go to transfer reset iPhone, tap on reset, tap on reset all settings, enter your passcode and fix your issue. So guys, if this video helps you, then make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching.